Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 176. Today we're going to look at the difference between atmosphere, ambiance, and vibe. Yeah, I'll often get uh, questions from students uh, about these three, because all of these three uh, can describe giving off, of, you know, feelings from a place, or feelings that you feel around the place. All right, and uh, it's also good to note here, I have the E on top here, with ambiance, because ambiance can be spelled both ways. It can be spelled A-M-B-I-A-N-C-E or A-M-B-I-E-N-C-E. -E. It can be spelled both ways. All right, let's look at the first note. Uh, ambiance is usually more of a high-class word and tends to be used in a positive way to express a laid-back, relaxed, or a more refined feeling from a place. So. Even though it's used for place, uh, ambiance is a little bit limited. It's used for high class and like a calm or some special quality. Um, yeah, it's not used in a negative way. So let's look at atmosphere. Uh, atmosphere is the most general. It can be used for either positive or negative feelings from a place. If you use adjectives such as wild or crazy, yeah, this definitely is with atmosphere. We never say a wild ambiance. It just sounds so weird. So out of place, or a crazy ambiance, or a violent ambiance. No, we don't use those. So dangerous, etc. Atmosphere is most likely to be used. Yeah. So ambiance would definitely not be used in that way. It would not be used in a negative way or some way that's like out of control, wild, or anything like that. All right. Let's look at vibe. Vibe or vibes, because you could say, you know, you get a vibe, a single vibe, or you get vibes, you're getting feelings, uh, can be used for the feelings that come off, off of, or from a place or a person. All right, so there's one thing to note right away, is vibes we also use for feelings from people. But to be honest, I think it's used a little bit more for feelings from people, but you could use it for place every now and then. Uh, when referring to a place, it usually describes a distinctive emotional atmosphere or feeling. Okay, and um, I gave examples to cover all of these. The first example covers the vibe from a place. So you can say that jazz nightclub gives off a cool vibe, yeah, especially with the word cool. We like to associate the word vibe in this sense. So when you're using it for a place, that would be an example of how you might use it with, uh, with vibe. Okay, let's look at the second one. Uh, that high-class French restaurant has a special ambiance. Yeah, especially things that are, like I said, more high-class, more refined, more relaxed. In these situations, we might use the word ambiance, or more likely use ambiance. Let's look at the third one. I don't like the way that weird-looking guy is staring at me. He gives off a creepy vibe. Yeah, so this is another one with vibe where we're saying it from people. So it could be both positive or negative. I've often heard women say this too, especially if it's a weird guy maybe staring at her, almost intimidating her a little bit, you know, maybe looking at her breasts or something like that. Uh, she might describe him as uh, giving off creepy vibes, kind of intimidates her a little. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, number four here. John is a cheerful person. He gives off good vibes. Yeah, so again, vibes can also be positive or negative. And uh, vibes has the feeling like so something, the place or the person is almost like emitting them. Uh, they're coming off. So that's why we often say somebody gives off vibes or, or you get vibes from them. It's like emitting from their, you can almost feel like the energy emitting from their body. Uh, that's what we mean by vibe. Where, you know, atmosphere and ambience is more like general around the whole area. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's look at number five here. Uh, the emotions at that protest were running high. Uh, the atmosphere is conducive to violence. Yeah, you would not use ambience in this way. Definitely not. Uh, it feels like a, a riot could break out at any moment. Yeah, basically a riot could break out at any moment. Yeah, that's definitely atmosphere. Okay, good. Let's look at number six. Uh, Jack always has a wild atmosphere at his parties. Uh, his friends get out of control and act crazy uh, just for fun. All right, well, this is out of control and crazy, but it's in a good way. It's in a positive way. People enjoying themselves. 
But we would also use atmosphere in that way. We would not use ambiance in that way. Okay, uh, I hope it's clear. I hope you got a better feeling of how all three are used. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.